wins today. Hall of Famer Parker Bowen III starts off with a crown, but two other bowlers want it for themselves. Tim Mack and the Flash, Jason Sterner. Both stars will score off for the chance to the throne, Parker. It's the PBA King of the Lanes, presented by Patch Blue Ribbon, next. to the best atmosphere in all of bowling. Bayside Bowl in Portland, Maine, as we continue the 2021 PBA King of the Lanes presented by Pabst Blue Ribbon. Today, legend Parker Bowl III starts off as king after wins over Jesper Svensson, Chris Barnes, and Anthony Nyer. The contenders match features Tim Mack, a longtime bowler, Hall of Famer, Elias Cup manager, and tour rep getting his chance to bowl on a PBA show. And the flash, Jason Stern. Welcome, boy fans, back to Bayside. Happy Father's Day, one and all. Look at the crowd. <laughs> awesome. And, you know, my birthday, too. Tim Mack's birthday. Fans have the hats. Got some cake out here. Pretty happy father yesterday, Randy, was Parker Bowling the third. 57 years young, spectacular bowling with three wins. Absolutely. By the way, happy birthday, Thank my you. friend. Happy Father's Day to all those great dads out there. But you're right, Parker Bone the third was outstanding yesterday, averaging just over 237. You know, he only missed the pocket four times in three games. He looked like the Parker Bone in his prime. I mean, it was absolutely fantastic. And when he needed it, he was absolute clutch. And the day before Father's Day with his sons and his daughter, Sydney, here. Incredible drama. Speaking of drama, Tim Mack on Father's Day turns 50 years old today. It's been a long time since one of your best friends in bowling has been on TV. Yeah, I can't wait to call Timmy's, uh, Timmy Mack's match. He's been through so much throughout his career. He was one of the greatest amateur players of all time. But after seven knee surgeries, three soldier surgeries, it's just great to have Timmy back. And I can't wait to see what he has for us today. Tim Mack joined now by our Kimberly Preston. All right, guys. It is so loud here, down here. I couldn't even hear them throw it to me. But Tim, this crowd is going crazy for you. And normally you are giving advice to all the guys back here. But today, you're on the lanes. And oh my goodness, I, I think there's something behind me that you're going to want to see. to the lanes right now because you're on them, you're about to bowl, and I saw some of these pros even change their flight to take and watch you today. What does it mean for you to be here? Well, it's an unbelievable honor. Thanks to Coley Edison, Tom Clark, and the entire PBA for having, giving me this gracious opportunity. I fought really hard to come back and be a bowler and come back and bowl. And uh, everybody knows I love the Bowl Pole Portland people. And, uh, you know, racing the two banners here and the guys staying here means a great deal to me. Um, I've got my family here, my wife here, my brother here, my kid, my daughter. It's just a, a surreal moment. Turning 50, one of my best friends in the booth, you, Kimberly. You can't get a better 50th birthday than this. You cannot, and we're going to give this crowd what they want. We're going to let you guys bowl. Right. They're chanting Timmy Mack. Timmy Mack. Wow. What a storyline for the Hall of Famer. Here are the odds to win provided by Fox Bet. Jason Sterner, minus 286. Here's the favorite. From Indianapolis, Indiana, he rolls out of Hindle Bowl in the Indy Tim Mack. Yeah, well, Tim Mack is a five-time amateur bowler of the year and the winner of 72 titles around the world. He's also managed the Portland Lumberjacks to two championships. And today, it's his birthday. Happy birthday, Timmy Mack. Former football player at Penn State. A long time. 
big name on the PBA Tour and in worldwide bowling. He has not been on a TV show since 2013, and that was overseas. Extra frame show in this building in 2016. Back on TV competing, Tim Mann. Great start. From Rochester, New York, he rolls out of ABC Gates Bowl in Gates. Flash Jason Sterner. Well, this three time winner is having his best season as a professional. His highlight was making the telecast in back to back majors the Masters and the U.S. Open. Thirty-seven years old from upstate. Nicknamed the Flash because usually moves really fast on the lanes. Top five a show in Reno this year. As to the youngster, the high school senior Spencer Robarge. Such a big story that week. Stars Day. Nice. Myself. <laughs> See, Flash, he's moving too fast. 16-year <laughs> pro. Here's the Flash nickname. There's the Arsenal. 12 regional titles. Another one of the great guys on tour. Left lane. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's going to be a handful because I think this pattern really fits into his game and in his wheelhouse. He likes to go a little bit straighter, and this pattern really likes when the bowlers do that. That unusual ball roll, a lot of axis tilt. And now Timmy Mack set on the right lane. It's not often to get serenaded with happy birthday to you before you bowl on TV. Oh, by the way, first time he's been on a show in eight years. Focus, first shot. Oh, no, across the deck for the 10 pin on the right lane. You look at Timmy Mack's game about 10 years ago. His backswing was a good two and a half feet higher than it is now. He's had to make a lot of adjustments due to injury. Full knee replacement in 2018. 19 months of rehab. With all the surgeries. Seven, as Randy talked about. At one point, the doctors had to break his leg intentionally to reroute knee movement. I mean, this guy's been through it all, Randy. Yeah, it's not off from bowling. I mean, he he was a fullback at Penn State and played with the likes of uh, Kajana Carter, O.J. McDuffie, yeah. who are still great friends to this day. Bobby Ingram, great names. What's going through his mind right now? A lot of nerves, a lot of uh, a lot of anxiety, and he's uh, obviously pumped up. Left lane for Timmy. Yeah! He's had such big moments in this building as the manager of the Lumberjacks. Now he's competing with a team jersey on. Beautiful shot here by Tim Mack and a great reaction. You think about just how long it's been since he's been in any type of competition. It's. It's, I mean, you don't forget how to ride the bike, but it's been a while. And of all places here, place is rocking. Starter, oh yeah. Perfect shot in the one three pocket. Let's take a look at the 42 foot Mark Roth oil pattern. 
Jason Sterner's going to go a little bit straighter than Tim Mack. You're going to see Timmy curving it just a little bit more. That right lane tends to be a little slicker down lane. The players tend to get a little bit farther left and just slow their ball speed down. Hey, Dave, by the way, you know, we happy Father's Day, all the great fathers out there. Did I tell you what I got for Father's Day? No. My kids got me a T-shirt. It says, World's Greatest Dad, semifinalist. <laughs> to me, Randy, you are the world's greatest dad. Now, you are. <laughs> but thank you. This guy is bowling great right now. Jason Serner says for Gal the emotion of Father's Day and Tim Mack returning here and Parker Bone the third. I'm going to win this thing. Having his best season ever on the PBA Tour, Jason Sterner starts perfect with four in a row. Eighteen years a pro. Fifty years old today. Tap on the ten, down it goes. We got a match here. There's Kyle True, buddy. Another one of the pros that changed their plan to be here to watch Tim Mack. That's how much he means to the tour and these guys. All right, so let's take a look from profile of Timmy Mack's game. And keep in mind that that backswing used to be a good two feet higher than that. But look at those beautiful lines and how he's stretched out with that left arm out in front. In front. And the one thing that Tim hasn't lost much of, Reverate. He still has the power. Seven left knee surgeries and a knee replacement three years ago. Take a seat, Tim Pin. <laughs> Kyle Tripp gives him the pick. <laughs> Not a lot up there to pick out, Timmy. Watch this reaction from Tim Mack. <laughs> Classic. Let me tell you how strong that man is. He'll come up and give you a bear hug, and he'll crack every bone in your back. You feel it. The full Mac attack right there. Three different spring football sessions at Penn State. He was not on the team. Had to keep telling Joe Paterno and the assistants, I deserve a spot here. Kept working, kept coming back. And eventually he made it. Special teams, long snapper. Had a great run at Penn State. It's the PBR six-pack alert sponsored by Paps Blue Ribbon. Five in a row for the Flash. And with all of the hoopla surrounding Timmy Mack, Jason Sterner hasn't let one thing bother him. Front five. For half a dozen. Yeah! The PBA Tour and Paps Blue Ribbon Los Angeles remind you to please drink responsibly. Wow. Six in a row. For Jason Sterner and Tim Mack, bowling great too. What a match in Portland today. The PBA on FS1 is sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. If you believe it, you can do it. Guaranteed Rate. Believe you will. And by the K5 from Kia. 
movement that inspires. Beautiful Portland, Maine. And with the owner of Bayside Bowl, Charlie Mitchell, watching just the other day, banner raising 2019-2020. Portland Lumberjacks, PBA League champs, winning their second straight Elias Cup, celebrating with some big names. He was the manager then, he's a bowler now. With the team jersey, Tim Mack trying to overcome all of the extras here today against Jason Sterner, who, by the way, has the front six, a perfect game. Works on a strike. Sixth frame to cut it to 20. Yeah! Another messenger takes out number 10. I'll tell you what. Jason Sterner is sitting in the back applauding what he's watching right now. I mean, what sportsmanship. Good for you, Jason. Back to Kimberly. Well, guys, I asked him with all the pros here who he got advice from before the show, and he said, my wife, Brenda, because she's the most important person in my life and she knows me the best, but I also trust her wholeheartedly with everything, and that includes bowling. And then I spoke with Brenda, who is an accomplished bowler, owning both PWBA and USBC titles, and she told me Tim is a champion to his bones. He already knows how to win. I'm just there as a second set of eyes to reaffirm what he sees on the lanes or what he doesn't see. All right, Kimberly, let's see how he responds. That's a Brooklyn strike attempt and a 3 10 baby split instead of the left lane. And again, someone throwing a perfect game. Can't make any mistakes. That's the one thing that Timmy has to guard against when he gets a little quick from the top of the swing down, he tends to pull it. And that's because of the change he's had to make in his swing. This guy's had 15 surgeries over 10 years, not just the knee. Multiple shoulder surgeries, too. The three of those. And it opened for him. That hurts. God damn it. Let's see how Sterner responds out of the break. Two time South Region Player of the Year. Now lives upstate in Rochester, New York. Looking for the front seven. Oh! oh, my. Okay. Oh, my. No way, nothing. Starter takes advantage of the opening given to him by Tim Mack. Jason tells us put a lot of time over the last several months into the mental part of the game. Working hard on the thought process, and one of those thoughts is to slow down on the approach. And with his entire strategic approach to the lanes as they break down, and managed it paid off with a great 2021. Looking to stay perfect. Yes, indeed. Eight up, eight down for Jason Sterner. Not a great shot by the flash. I mean, you can't throw it any better than that. So, Mom Joan, not a lot. Here watching, supporting Tim, too. They've been here several days. Three fans. Now another missed left for Timmy. And this game is all but over. It's just the uh, filling in the last ninth and tenth frames. And but what an experience for that man right there on his birthday, Father's Day, to have his whole family here. 
got that one. This is a guy, Randy, for five years didn't bowl in any singles events because of his knee issues and the knee replacement. He's overcome so much physically. Well, Penn State read in the student newspaper about tryouts. And Joe Paterno said, I understand you're a good bowler. You're, you're a pretty good football player, but you know, just keep trying. And he can make the team three times before he finally caught on with the Nittany Lions. It's so cool. He kept telling Joe, I'll be back in the fall. See you in the fall. And he eventually made the roster. Oh, nice shot. That boy, Jimmy. Chasing 300 alert. There it is. Jason Turner wants a re rack to think things over for a moment. There is a $10,000 bonus on the line. If he can complete the feat and get all 12 strikes, would not count historically as a 300 on TV. Sam Cooley had one in Milford recently at the PBA playoffs. That was number 31 all time. How about it? Front nine flash. Oh! Ah, good shot, Tent Ben. Well, he did have 299 on TV once back in 2012-13. The Don Carter Classic in Detroit did that against West Malad. They got it just a little bit wide of what he wanted. But a great run. Timmy Mack wishes he could have seen Jason leave more week 10. Fourth at the Chameleon Championship in Tampa. Fourth at the USBC Masters in Reno. And fifth at the US Open in Reno. That's a one by Chris Five. Hey, Parker Bowden the third. What are you what are you seeing out there? And what's the electricity like down on the lanes? I'll tell you what, it looks like these boys are striking quite a bit. And obviously, Jason more so than Timmy right at the present moment. But uh, Lanes might be going through a little transition. At least uh, that's what we'll say right now. And I'm ready to go. Well, your side's not going through any transition, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. It's waiting for me. <laughs> All right. Good luck, Parker. Thanks. And we'll okay, have to drink thrown. Stir. Wrapping up the win. Jason Sterner will take on King Parker Bone the third to see who retains the crown after this show. King match next for Flash. So great to see Tim Mack and Pete Randy on TV again. You know from knowing him so well what this means to Tim. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's emotional, man. It's, you know. It's my buddy. Well, Timmy, we're all proud of you. We're all proud of you, my friend. Great showing. Great to have you back. And how appropriate it happened right here in Portland, Maine. Slide that, us. Slide that four over, buddy. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, love you, Timmy. Stands. Great to see Tim back complete. He says, I've got the mind and the heart of a guy who will never quit. And that is exactly Tim Mack for you. Not enough today against Flash. Jason Sterner, who waits for Jason Sterner, another than the Hall of Famer. 57 years old on Father's Day. Parker Bone, the third. All reminder coming up next at 3 Eastern. The PBA King of the Lane presented by Paps Blue Ribbon continues. Contenders Tampa Tom Doherty and Francois Lavoie face off to meet the king of this show. At the end of that one, we will have 
a king of the lanes in 2021. Lavoie, Super Slam champ. He's something. So was Jason Sterner ran in that first match. He sure was. He started with a front eight, man. It looked like we may have had another 300 game, and it would have been uh, the first one since Sam Cooley did it in the playoffs. What a great sport he was throughout that. All the stuff that was going on with Tim Mack, his birthday, the cake, and he handled it like a professional. Let's go to Kimberly with a reigning king, his majesty. Thanks, Dave. So, Parker, Jason looks pretty dialed in. I saw you throw in some shots. How's it look out there for you? Well, right now it looks pretty good for me. You know, what I see is very similar to what I had yesterday. If I go out there and make 12 great shots, uh, he's got his hands full. Well, you've had one night to keep the crown, and you have to defend it today, but a little birdie told me that you are saving up all the money that you win here <laughs> for something special. Why don't you tell us what that is? Uh, fund the truck. Justin decided to ride over a small propane gas tank uh, at some point earlier this week. So we're going to try to see if we can't fix some of the repairs that he did and get things back on the right track. Is he helping you to earn some money then while he's here? I think he's trying to root me on, so the more I make, the less he's got to cover. <laughs> I love it. Guys. Kimberly, thanks. That Justin great. headed to Wichita State with brother Evan. Brandon's here, City, the whole family. Lots of royalty in the house here in Portland, Maine today. Sunday on Fox, rising Cuban sensation, undefeated super middleweight champ David Morrell Jr. puts his belt in the line against Mario Cazares. The hard-hitting PBC begins next Sunday at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on Fox and the Fox Sports app. Happy Father's Day, all you dads out there. Check the odds to win, provided by Fox Bet. Jason Sterner, minus 200 against the Hall of Fame 57-year-old legend. Big win for Flash against Tim Mack. Starts his second match. Nice. Perfectly. in New Jersey, rolling out of Howell Lanes. Behold your king, Parker Bone the third. Well, the sovereign of swing was deadly yesterday, wasn't he? And his reactions were priceless. Averaging over 237 and so clutch when he had to have it. Oh, by the way, you remember Back when Parker was a full-time touring player on the regular tour. Do you remember sure. who, his, who his tour roommate was? I do not. Jason Couch. Ah. Hall of Famer Jason Couch. Yeah. He sent me a text this morning. I'll read it to you in a second. I can't wait to hear it. Parker! Come on, seven pin. Um, I'll have to clean some of it up. But he said, tell old man Bone to take his Geritol with his glass of milk. He said, if I was there because it's a beer sponsor, I would own that. And then you could fill in the rest. Yeah. Always good to hear from Jason. Seven pin, got a mark to start this match. Winner takes the crown for this show. There's Parker's arsenal. Left lane. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No. Seven. Ten. Well, there's been four made on television in the history of professional bowling. Three by left-handers. And the guy, the last player that actually converted the 7-10, Parker beat yesterday. Anthony Dyer. How about it, Parker? Oh, no, he'll whiff and lose count. So. Well, 7 10 early. 
And Snurr a chance to go up by 24 pins early. Anthony and I are here watching. <laughs> the ginger assassin. Got those cool shades. <laughs> Parker wore those on the throne yesterday. That show yesterday, Randy, was unforgettable. It really Randy. was. Wow. All shows were yep. phenomenal. What a nice day. Turner keeps on trucking. Kick save on the 10 and a beauty. Coming back. He liked this one as soon as it left his hand. He's all about the spoiler today. Gonna take down the Hollywood script story of Tim Mack and now maybe Parker Bowen the third. Put him somewhere. Big emergence in 2021 for this guy. Yeah, it really has been. Three shows, two majors in one year. Good shot there. Well, he kicked the 10 out on the right lane. This time it's a vicious ringing 10 on the left. He told us the great year he's had even exceeded his expectations and goals. That's always a good thing. <laughs> Want to watch all the PBA classics? Stay up to date on uh, PBA exclusive content and tournament highlights. Head to PBA.com to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Catch you up on all the PBA action at PBA.com today. PB3. Nice. And check out some of the numbers brought to you by Strike Track, powered by Kia. You can see Parker Bone approaching that 400 RPM mark. So he still has enough power to get her done. Right now, just trying to figure out how to carry. Seven pin in the first, pocket seven ten in the second. By the way, Dave, you want to learn how to be a better bowler? Yes. Head on over to lanetalk.com, download the free app. You'll be on your way to throwing more strikes in no time. I got my phone right here. Go to the app store right now. Oh. Parker, feeling it. He's not going anywhere. Back to back jacks to double for the Hall of Famer. The classic style of Parker Bone the third. Look at that knee bend at age 57 parts. Mm. Incredible. 20 years older than his opponent. 32 more titles than his opponent. But it's a one-game match, and Stern's got the edge. Fourth. Good flash. Ooh, a pin. Good shot. Yuck. Carbon copy of the last shot he threw. Chase has been concentrating so hard this year on better ball speed and control. Better physical shots. He's in great shape. Big gym guy. I like the Hawaiian theme here today. It's a very tropical in Portland, Maine. We've got the lays, the flower dresses, a lot of... So many themes out there in this great crowd. I mean, it was it's warm enough today. It's 90-something today. It's yeah, really steamy. It, yeah. I think it's the hottest day since, since we've been here last week. I can't believe they let us do the, sh the, the show in shorts. <laughs> so yeah, sunglasses, yeah. Works on a spare fifth frame. Yes, indeed. She changed balls on that shot there after a couple of back-to-back -back 10 pins, and this one behaves properly. Just over third arrow. All right, Parker can actually take the lead with two more strikes here.
For the turkey to cut it to two. Yes, oh indeed. Tattoos the one-two pocket. Oh, ten in the pit. Pretty good touch on this shot here by PB3. Oh, yeah. And now with one more in the sixth, he can take the lead. Fifth all-time. Walter Williams Jr. with 47 is the leader. Fellow legend. Back to Parker for the lead. Yes, he's got it. Four-bagger and a lead by eight pins. Well, I think Parker Bone wants to send a message back out to his extra roommate, Jason Couch, saying, hey, Jason, I still have a little left in the tank, my friend. King of the Lanes continues, presented by Pat's Blue Ribbon here on FS1 from Portland, Maine. Dave, Randy, Kimberly, our entire crew. Start this event with 81 titles, 14 majors combined between the 11 bowlers. 35 of those 81, that's 43%, from Parker Bowen III himself. Chris Barnes, 19, so the two, those two stars, Hall of Famers, most of the hardware. This guy's got three. Would love to win today. Out of the break. He gets a break. Yeah, big break there. That shot was cruising and all of a sudden grabbed enough traction to get back to the pocket and catch enough of the head pin. I don't know if he's looking for a pick or if he dropped some money on the lane. Oh, oh, where's your wallet? That's, That's what perfect. they were screaming. Got it. Absolutely perfect. One prior TV match between these two. Sterner beat Parker Bone III, 257 174, match one of the 2015 Scorpion Championship in Reno. It's been a while since they've gone head to head. Flash wants the crown. You know, you can just get a sense when a player's really feeling it, and he's real comfortable. Not only with the environment, but with his game and what he's doing. And, and that's what Jason Sterner looks like. I'd say Randy's looked like that from the beginning today. Felt really at yeah, ease. No, I think you're right. And, and again, the way he handled, you know, the, the, the big celebratory moments of Tim Mack. And uh, he, he's just really handled himself brilliantly today. Back to the Hall of Famer. Oh, no. Seven pins. Come on. Has not missed the pocket, has Parker Bone. Seven pin in the first, pocket seven ten, another seven pin. Trying for the five bagger. Seven pin. Got that. Been so solid with his spare shooting. Over the last two days, it's the spare of the game, brought to you by Guaranteed Rate. If you believe it, you can do it. Guaranteed Rate, believe you will. Well, he's so good at making spares because his swing is just so beautifully in line with the direction he wants to throw the ball in. Gentle on the high fives than Anthony Nyer yesterday. Anthony Nyer might have fractured a few wrists yesterday. He was, what? It's a big man with a big high five. I'm, I'm, I probably pull back on that. You know what? I'm, yeah, I'd be I'm like that. Yeah, and and, and you certainly don't want to do the fist, yeah, fist bump too. with him. Yeah, that's when he breaks a couple of knuckles and. <laughs> big young star on the tour. It'll be fun to watch Anthony over the next several years. Get it going. For a 23 pin lead. Yeah! Flash is fantastic.
Yeah, very impressed with Jason Sterner today and, and this season for that matter. But there's the ball change after back-to-back -back ring tens. And to have the wherewithal in this situation with all this, this craziness in the crowd and, you know, all of the electricity in this building, he's, he's still aware of what's going on, makes the ball change, and it's a four-bagger right after it. Takes a re-rack, has one left in this match. He talked to us extensively this week about working with sports psychologists and the mental focus. Man, has that paid off here today? Overcoming so much of the extras. Ooh. Helicopter somehow doesn't get to the seventh pin. Well, he's still okay because if he spares this and strikes out, he'll shut out Parker. Parker's max score, 245, and with a spare here, Sterner can still shoot 247. Well done. Seven pin, no worries. Recently a change from 16 to 15 pounds when he likes the feel. Much more control of the ball. Well, Parker knows the score. Knows exactly what he has to do to have any chance. Well, look at that game that he's bowled, and it's, you know, it could be perfect through eight. Lead strikes. Really good shot. Seven pins. Back to back. Bringing sevens on that right lane. I mean, this is one of the best two team games you'll ever see. Still one run for Parker. Yeah, now he needs to strike out the four starter to mark in the tenth. There's one. Thank you very little. Where you been all game? That thing will drive me to drink. <laughs> he doesn't drink, folks. Just, just let you know. All right. And that was the uh, kind of the uh, the story behind what Jason Couch, his former tour roommate, and best friend, was leading uh, on to about the milk. Pressure now on Stern. Yeah, he doesn't even need a mark now. What a great run, though, for Parker Bone, the third. And what an honor to be able to call the action with that man right there. I know you go down there and kick my ball on the gunner. I've seen you do it. Not one, but two. Hollywood strips ripped to shreds by this guy. <laughs> Jason Sterner. Sterner the party crasher. I tell you, Sterner the storm cloud. Yeah. Here nice. A winner. Flash advances. And he is your new king. All bow. All hail to King Jason. He bows to Zod. I don't, I don't know if you remember who Zod was. He was a villain in Superman. Kind of looks like Jason Sterner. <laughs> sort of playing the villain role, yeah, but he's doing a great job at it today. He's wrapped this one up. And we got a new king. Great bowling for Jason Sterner. First Tim Mack, then Parker Bowl the third. He's the new PBA King of the Lanes.
The PBA on FS1 is sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. If you believe it, you can do it. Guaranteed Rate. Believe you will. And by the K5 from Kia. Movement that inspires. Might be time to get on the Jason Turner Express. Wow. Ball of great. Grabs the crown moment sponsored by Pat Blue Ribbon. 267, 245 games back to back for Flash. A reminder coming up next here in FS1. The PBA King of the Lanes presented by Pat Blue Ribbon continues as contenders Tom Doherty, Francois Lavoie. Face off to meet Kurt King, Jason Sterner. There he is out of Rochester, New York. Now for Randy Peterson and Kimberly Presser, it's Dave Ryan saying so long for now from Portland, Maine, and Bayside Bowl. You've been watching the PBA on FS1. Hollywood script? Yeah, it was set for Tim Mack and Parker Bowl III. Jason Sterner said, forget about the script. I'm the guy. I'm the Flash. I'm the king.